lovely to see you, you lovely bunch of YouTubers and followers of the channel. So we are going into a lot. I can see there's a higher boat in front of us. I'm hoping we'll share the lot together. And we're starting our journey on the Chesterfield Canal. In last week's vlog I was on the Tidal River Trent and I want to say a massive thank you to the Trent Link Facebook group because we couldn't have done our crossing without the support on that page. It's amazing. Thank you guys. Okay, I've got to concentrate now because I'm going to go in the lock but there's a boat already in the lock. There's a bend so I can't see how I'm going to get in there. So this will be an adventure. And it's windy. Is this your very first knock ever? Oh, oh, that's fine then. <laughs> and then begins the magic of sharing a lock with someone. As your boats travel up or down together in the chamber, you learn something new about the people that you're sharing the lock with, and I just love it. That's exciting. We don't know this canal. This is our very first time on this canal. Yeah, but we know our boat, so that, that makes a difference. It does make a difference. So after sharing two of the locks together, we say our goodbyes and make our separate way along the Chesterfield Canal. This canal was opened in 1777 and was one of the last of the canals to be designed by James Brindley. It's 46 miles long and runs from the River Trent in Nottinghamshire through South Yorkshire and on to the centre of Chesterfield in Derbyshire, three counties. in this canal is really special.
There is quite a lot of blanket weed in the Chesterfield Canal, which is fantastic for wildlife. However, we just passed a boat that was turning back because it was getting caught in its prop. We can hear the engine. I'm so proud of Alice Grace, you know, we've only literally three times I think in the three and a half years that we've had her had to go into the weed hatch and it's never been for weed, it's because something's caught around the prop and she's just powering through the best she can, she's such a good boat, I love her. So in the distance you can see the village of Walkringham and there's a really fantastic glamping site called Hawthorne Hideaways which you're going to see now in this village. And they have a whole range of different cabins and lodges, I mean one had this in it. And it's set in two acres of beautiful woodland and you can hire a narrowboat called Kingfisher as well. A very low bridge. We haven't taken the two meal. I might be rushing in a minute up the, up the gunnels to try and take the two meal. Let's have a look. So this is called Smith's Bridge and it's the lowest bridge on the canal but of course we didn't properly read the guidebook so we had no idea it was coming. Place your bets now. Are we going to get under? So this chimney is a former brickworks. This area was very famous for bricks. But when it stopped making bricks, it made a fine powder from silt in the river, and that was used for cleaning silver. It's like me and Mr. Mindful. And then we make it out of the blanket weed into a really narrow section of reeds. Which I just love. Okay, Anthony, I know you want to be trying to film roses around a thatched cottage. Well, there's roses around a cottage, it's just not thatched, but it's so pretty. A great thing about summer cruising is you can be cruising until quite late in the evening and it's coming up to about 6pm here. We're trying to find somewhere to moor. The drawback is the evening brings out all the midges. <coughs> Sorry, fly. So after the old lady swallowed a fly, we made our way through Drake Holes Tunnel, a very short tunnel on the Chesterfield Canal, in order to find a mooring at Drake Holes.
always likes to come and explore, don't you, Zef? And the only thing she's ever looking for is a ball. What you found, Zef? Puffball mushroom. It's me. It's a happy dog. So I have found this gorgeous pheasant feather which I am going to try and use in my journal this week. And Zafa, what have you got, Seth? Show everyone what you've got. Where's your ball?
Underneath the sheen of reflected green and trees that cuts the hull in half is a world unknown to me, yet I get glimpses of. Fingertips of reeds and weeds point out the damselfly that trapeze across the surface of this world that is unknown to me, yet I get glimpses of. Till steely scales and rudder tails flit along the silt, then tilt themselves towards my stare. Then this world that is unknown to me, and I get glimpses of, for just a second, holds me there. <laughs>